Hey everyone, Tyler with My Computer Works here, and today we're gonna be breaking down Google's new account setup method, okay? If you've tried creating a new Gmail account or Google account recently, you might have run into something a little bit different. A QR code you have to scan, a text message that you now have to send, and a setup flow that looks nothing like the old one. Don't worry, nothing weird is going on. Google didn't get hacked, your computer's not broken, and this isn't one of those scam pop-ups that looks like it wants to steal something from you. In fact, this is actually Google's way of confirming that you're a real person. And today, I'm gonna be walking you through the whole setup step by step on both sides, okay? So on the computer side, I'll show setting up the Google account, and then on the phone side, I'll show how we verify and actually finish out what they want us to do with the QR code, okay? And then we're gonna be breaking down why Google did this, the pros, the cons, and what you should expect moving forward. Okay, so step one, here we are, I'm at gmail.com, came to gmail.com, or accounts.google.com, either way and we're gonna be creating a new account. So I'll choose create account for my personal use. That's what it's for. And gotta fill out some quick info here. Put in my name, put in a birthday, put in a gender. This account's not gonna be permanent, I'm gonna be deleting it. Create a quick username, we'll just say uh, mcwyoutube1 at gmail.com. It's taken, how about 12? How about one, two, three? Nope, okay. Okay, none of those. So let's try Ty, the tech guy for YouTube at gmail.com. They don't like any of these. Okay, so they, they finally let me use uh, one of the emails that I tried, a lot, most of the ones that I was trying. It wasn't even that they were taken, they just didn't wanna let me use it, okay? But here we are at the QR code screen, okay? So once you make it through account setup and pick your username, make your password, the next screen you'll hit will be this screen right here. They want to verify that you are a real person with this QR code. So what I'm gonna do is take my cell phone, I'm going to hold it up to the QR code, a yellow link appears and I'm going to hit open in browser. Once I do that, it is going to take me in where I can verify my phone number, okay? Google needs to verify your device or phone number for security reasons. Your phone will open an SMS message or a text message with a code you need to send to verify your phone. Your carrier may charge for SMS messages used for verification, standard SMS rates of Okay, so that doesn't apply to me. Most people nowadays have unlimited talk and text. So I'm gonna hit that little send SMS button on screen right there. Hit send SMS. It wants to direct me outside of Google and switch apps. I'm going to hit allow because I know what it's doing. It's trying to take me to my text messages. And now here I am in my text messages. And this is the part where people get kind of scared or weirded out. It has a, a phone number at the top that it's, that it's sending this to, which is 244444, like a random number I obviously don't recognize. You're not gonna recognize. And then it has a message here that says, send this message without editing. W, Z, o, D, well, you see it, okay? That right there is us sending a text message to Google with that code, which they will then see and verify, and they'll know that we're a real person using a cell phone, at least that's the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that message. You can now see it is sent as a normal text message. Google will get that and then on the screen here in just a moment, we'll watch and the magic will happen. Once Google gets this text message on their side, this screen is going to disappear and move to the next screen where I can finish setting up my account. Now, as you can see, I've been sitting here, I've been talking, I've been trying to waste time for quite a bit and it's still has not gone uh, to the next screen. That is typical. Sometimes you have to wait a bit, even after you send the text message, you have to wait a bit for the screen to actually move. And there it is, it just happened on screen. It wants me to try a different phone number. Now, this is happening because I've used this one for too many accounts. This is something that you're going to run into. I'm glad that we got this today. So basically it says this phone number has been used too many times to continue, click the next button and scan the QR code with a different phone number or different phone. 
after scanning, follow the steps on your phone in order to complete the verification process with an SMS message. So the problem is I've already used this phone about four or five times on different Google accounts. I cannot use it again to set up a brand, a whole new one, okay? So that is why I got this message here. I would have to get an entirely different phone or I could set up a Google account under my pre-existing account and that would be the way I would do it. But trying to set up an entirely new one when I've already used the phone number, obviously not working anymore. So Google is cracking down on that. So the question is, why is Google doing this now? Well, because of bots, because of AI, bots are everywhere. Google has been getting hammered with automated account creation systems, as in accounts for spam, accounts for scams, accounts that are just fake, AI generated accounts, all clogging up their system, causing a bunch of nonsense. Now this new QR code system, the text method and the QR code together, it helps do the following things. It confirms you actually have the phone number that you're entering. Bots can't fake sending a real text from a real device. It prevents fake accounts from being auto-generated. QR code plus mobile device plus text message equals harder for bots to automate. It makes account recovery way easier because Google knows the phone number really belongs to you. It also blocks setup from suspicious devices. If a hacked computer or sketchy browser tries creating accounts, Google can now stop it. Now, obviously nothing is perfect and I just made it sound really great, but here are the downsides and they're real. It's confusing if you're not tech savvy, that's number one. Older users see a QR code and they think they're getting scammed. That's totally understandable. It, al it also forces you to have your phone. You can't finish account setup without it, so you have to have a cell phone now. If your text messaging is disabled or broken, well, you're stuck. No SMS means no Google account setup. People with flip phones or landlines cannot use this method. This one's pretty big. Again, if you don't have a smartphone, Google's going to assume everyone has a smartphone. At this point, they assume everyone has a smartphone. And if you don't, you're gonna get left behind. And when will this happen? It might not just be during a new account setup, although that is where we're seeing it here. Google might think your device is new and might give you this QR code. You're using a new browser, you might get hit with this QR code. You factory reset your phone, you might get hit with the QR code. And if you're trying to create multiple accounts quickly, you're probably gonna get hit with the QR code. So it's not random. Google is basically checking, are you a real person and are you using a real phone? And that's it, that's the full walkthrough of Google's new QR code and text message verification setup method. That's a lot to say. Honestly, once you know what's happening, it's pretty simple and it's more secure. It is a lot more secure, but I get it. It's annoying. And for a lot of folks, especially the older generation, this is going to feel like Google's making you jump through a bunch of flaming hoops just to set up an email address. And you're kind of right. They are, but it's all in the name of security. I hope this video helped you though. If you were struggling with it, if it did, make sure to drop a comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe before you go and make sure to check out our QR code video. If you were having trouble with the QR code video part in this video, we have a whole video on how to scan QR codes along with a bunch of great tech videos you can check out. We have the number at the beginning, at the end of the video and down in the description below where you can reach out to us for hands-on help. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.